Hi guys, it's Scissors. Uh, welcome to the Pagan Perspective. It's Wednesday and we are talking about dream catchers. So, I tried to find one at the store to show you guys, but I'm pretty sure we all know what they look like. Um, I couldn't find one, so I made one. This is what my video is about today, is how to make a dream catcher out of a daisy and some grass. So dream catchers, they've always been in the house, we've always had them. Um, in my family, they're used to get rid of bad dreams. The bad dreams get caught into the beads, and that way they couldn't get out and you wouldn't have bad dreams. They wouldn't get to you because they would be sucked up into the dream catcher. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research on them. That's just the family thing, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to make one using very, very limited resources. What you're going to do is create a circle and then you are going to find some very long pieces of grass. You're going to use it to tie the knot. You're going to wrap it around where the two ends of the daisy stem meet. And like I said, daisy chains also work really well for this. Um, also a great seasonal decoration. And then I'm going to use the rest of this and start just kind of wrapping it around. I'm not going to do the um, normal loops around because grass isn't exactly um, conducive to that kind of thing. So this probably won't end up being completely circular either. But So what I'm going to be doing is basically um, taking a lot more grass, but you're going to be creating kind of like a maze, a mishmash of um, different pieces of grass and strings and stuff because I don't have the beads on here to trap the bad dreams so I'm going to be using the knots and the twists and the turns to make it confusing. I'm just taking the grass and putting it through and weaving it and oh, I have bugs crawling all over me! It's mosquito season! Okay so that is my so far um, dream catcher made out of like grass and daisies and of course I mean it wouldn't be a dream catcher without like the danglies so I'm just going to take more grass and because I mean obviously dream, most dream catchers have the feathers um, dangling for, from them I'm going to take the tops of the grass that have the little danglies and I'm going to try to tie those on the bottom to kind of be like the feathers or you could like actually find feathers seeing as those are natural materials but I don't have the patience to go find feathers right now. Yay, so I have three of them and that's all I'm going to do. Okay, so this is my grass and flower dream catcher. Um, <laughs> I like it. And then I would probably um, charge this with protective energies because to me that's what dream catchers are for. It's to protect you from bad dreams. And so yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you all have fun trying to tie knots into grass and yeah, which love and blessed be. Bye.